Yeah, Exosher has been playing a lot of Wolf. I think he's a Wolf main. Uh, right? I think he switched over Wolf recently. He, he was he was a Fox main for the longest time. He played Fox in Smash 4. And, right. And I, he's, he played Fox for a while in this game, but I think he recently switched over to Wolf. Just yeah. like most Fox players, honestly. Yeah, well, yeah. A lot of them. At least the ones in SoCal. Like, prove me wrong on that one. Larry Lur, Charlie both play primarily Wolf now. And now Yosher, Fox main, for most of his game, not playing primarily Wolf. Well, I, I, played Wolf, uh, I played Fox in Smash 4, but uh, in this game, I was going to play Wolf, and I just didn't like how the characters felt, and then, so I switched a lot. But let's get into this game. Yeah, that's uh, fair. Nico, with this Lucina, has been doing some work. Mm -hmm. Nico and Jaren will never show up, always does work. <laughs> He's just a very entertaining player to watch most of the time. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, I feel like uh, Lucina in particular is such a fundamentals based character. It really shows uh, Nico's mastery of this game. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hey, no, catch there. Dodge. Very nice coverage there on, 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 the, on the way back. Yeah, uh, Nico's been really strong in advantage uh, in the past couple of games. Like, Speaking of really strong things, that back air is. That back air can yeah. still suck sometimes. <laughs> One of the strongest back airs in the game, for sure. Yeah, Nico's been really strong in advantage, just keeping his opponents pressured and like. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, back air there. He, you seen this just able to uh, cover so much area and uh, cover where you want to go. So, like, with those huge hitboxes that are forward, with forward air, up air, and back air, just kind of catch your drift and where you want to go. All right, and, anyways, back air. we're not going to pay attention to that. They can't hear. Just pretend it doesn't yeah, exist. They, it's not a thing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. This, this seems, also seems like a one more troublesome top three matchup as well, too, for, for both in particular, because, like, I don't think Spacey's really do too, too too well against, against like sword characters, against people with a lot of range. Like especially like I think I think Shulk also like will, will make Wolf's trouble sometimes just because like just because of offstage game and also just from just, just the, the range and everything. It's just how it is. That was nice though, but barely doesn't take the stock. Yeah, but I I I don't see this going next Yoshi's way. The way Nico's been playing, it's, it's been a mer very sort of methodical game with not a lot of back and forth. Um, yeah, and the back here will do it. He, uh, Nico's just shown to be really consistent with this character. Which is really interesting because we don't see him play, bring out the character a lot. Mm hmm. Uh, but yeah, take it. I mean, I feel I feel like pretty much like any character at Nico just breaks out in the first place will always be pretty dang good. He's just a character. He's just a player who's played for just so dang long at this point. Like I know I know we've seen before like his Captain Falcon. You see you've seen what's we've seen here other than Shulk. I, I know we've seen a few other like characters other than Shulk besides just Lucian here. Oh yeah, he's played Joker as well too at one point. Joker Falcon. He was playing Falcon for a while. Imagine if he was. Imagine days. if he stuck of Joker as like a secondary and like he just went Joker or Shulk all the time against people. I can't be. I could be kind of insane, honestly. <laughs> just giving out just Joker as like top three in the game and everything. You know, I kind of wish they added a character that was just like objectively terrible. I mean, like in Carol, they did add him to this game. He's pretty objectively awful. No, I mean, I mean like. I you can't on the really level that like Kirby is bad in melee. Oh, like that, yeah. <laughs> like so, you can just pick it to style on your opponents. That'd with be something they would add probably like before the game comes out. Yeah. Because that's like, true. I if, mean, if there's a DLC character that was just like absolute trash, <laughs> no one would buy the DLC. <laughs> yeah, you want them. Like to if be... Terry came out and like his move just didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like all his moves just sent towards the state no matter what. <laughs> like that would just be that would be awful. No one would buy Terry in that case. Even the King of Fires fans. <laughs> But they just added a character that was like Dave from marketing, and he like does his Steve from like accounting. slaps you or yeah yeah. So I guess like you can't really do that because like Slap C has like the businessman and everything, and like has like a whole like buying stronger moves thing. That whole mechanic is really cool. Yeah, I saw that character. 
That's really interesting. Yeah, he's really cool. Slap City is a really cool game. A lot of people that haven't played it before, but it's like nice. His forward smash is like he sl body slams you or something. Yeah. <laughs> His body's like a sausage. He just freaking yeah, slams us on like the ground. <laughs> it's great. Uh, yeah. all right. It's not about Smash here, though. This Nico already smash talk. just putting yeah, a lot of damage. Like, he's gotten X Yosher off stage twice now. He's gotten him in the air. He's just, it's like, Nico is just kind of like, okay, this is, I'm going to show you all of Pokemon Stadium 2. I'm going to show you around. And then I'm going to meet my pets. This is where I do my laundry. I don't know why you do your laundry on a ton of stadium, though. It's kind of a weird position to do it. Because <laughs> the stadium is his house, man. He lives here, dude. Yeah. I, I'm getting the metaphor now. Okay. <laughs> but, like, it's pretty deep. I don't know. Never mind. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, literally. <laughs> but, literally, though. But, like. Like, there's so many people watching. I mean, very awkward. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, up throw. We we smash four, boys. Yeah, that will eventually kill this game. It will still. eventually. Smash four killed like 140, 150 or so, but this game it's like close to 200. But it still kills. It is a rage throw after all, but so you can still do some stuff if you can't find a stock another way. Yoshi has, has to cover high a lot though in this matchup it seems, because Nico's really covering covering just the ledge really well. And also down here into the back area, that's super good. Yeah, it's a kind of a weird interaction though, because if you go low, you know, it's a lot safer, obviously. But uh, if your opponent goes to punish low and you go high, then they're the one who's in the bad situation. Uh, or well, those of you who don't play that much, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, th I still think it's like one of the, like, the, the worst like, top tier matchups for Wolf. I have, I have like all the top tier carries, like he's, he's gonna struggle a lot against swords. Maybe not as much against like like Krom or Roy or anything, just get, maybe because like the both kind of fast. And, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like Wolf would not be as relevant if uh, character the Smash Four top tiers existed, like with Cloud's massive hitboxes. And... Uh, Cloud would actually destroy Wolf. Yeah, he, he would. He would. Oh, that Fortner will destroy Wolf in this case, though. That'll never do it. Oh, but we are in winter semi, so there will be one more game, possibly more, but most likely one more game. Mm. Sorry, X you, can't, you can't count him out, though. I mean, we're all talk we're talking about Wolf. He is, he's a pretty solid fundamental, fundamental character with a lot of great combos, a lot of good range in general, a lot of great kill power. But he's going back to the oh, Fox, though, the Fox, so yeah. never mind everything I just said. This is, yeah, this is the better matchup because Fox has his speed. It's like. Ooh. When you're playing Wolf, all Wolf has is like, uh, he has his laser and like that forward air is going to get beaten out by Lucina every time. With Fox, you have the speed, you have the dash attack. Uh, sure, you lose your, the effectiveness of your grab in this game, but you're still able to effectively pressure your opponent pretty well. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think like Fox is in general, like his speed has a lot of time just getting hit anyways. And just getting racking a lot more damage. Off stage is also might be a bit easier too because you can just kind of snap straight to the ledge. It's kind of hard for the scene to punish that unless you time a forward air like perfectly. Otherwise, you're just getting like hit somewhere. But this is where, yeah, that's where it's gonna be hard for Fox to get back a bit. If it, Zico probably Zico knows what he's doing off stage. He plays Shulk. He, he, he's good at fairing people. <laughs> Even if the fair is a little smaller. Exactly. Yeah, already this, this. I mean, sure, Ectoster lost that stock there, but I'm, I'm feeling this pit had a lot better from, uh, a lot more from Ectoster. This is a lot closer game, and I think Nico is. Oh, oh, oh! That was a, that was a good sacrifice. That good trade. That was great. Yeah, he's up yeah, a lot. He's at now. 150. He just, just if he can just out. get that, perfect. Oh, we went for the footstool. Oh, if he, if he got the shine, if he got the shine, or the that, shine. Was yeah, that was it. But he missed the shine, unfortunately. He didn't commit to it. Yeah. But I think Nico's struggling a little bit with the... Uh, the thing is, like, sure, Fox is a fast faller, so he's comboed easier, but, like... Just goes out there for it. Yeah. Nico just kind of putting... Just putting out that fire before it even has a chance to get started. It's like when there's a the fire pit and he just took a bunch of water and dumped it on first. 
Yeah, plus, I think just I think in general, though, like, it's it's been said for years at this point, spaces versus swords, not exactly the greatest matchup. Some people say